Okay, folks, um, we're getting ready to start a new thing here in my life. I'm, I'm going to do some YouTube stuff. I don't really know how good I'm going to be at it at first. I'm going to do this to where I learn while y'all watch me learn. That way, sometimes I'll make jokes that you can laugh at because they're a joke. And sometimes I'll just make mistakes that are mistakes, and you can laugh at those. Um, I don't intend to be a professional at this. I have no desire to be a professional at this. I live a rustic lifestyle. I make rustic style jewelry, and I intend to make rustic uh, YouTubes. We spend a lot of time on doing the stuff that you enjoy watching, not a lot of time on producing picture-perfect videos. If you want picture-perfect videos, you'll probably need to go somewhere else on YouTube. Well, right now, this is what we've got. I'm uh, fixing to go up towards the barn now. I've got some uh, jewelry in a final polish Lotto tumbler. And I don't know whether we'll get a chance to show you that today or not, but you'll eventually get to see one. I I'll try. I don't know whether there'll be enough light up there or not. I don't know anything about this stuff, okay? I have no idea what I am doing. And uh, it's going to be fun, though, because uh, I am a cowboy saddle train. I travel everywhere. I have a travel trailer that I pull behind my Ford pickup truck. I travel with my dog, Mick. He is a hanging tree stock dog, which was developed by the Hanging Tree Ranch. And they're one-third Border Collie, roughly, and one-third, roughly, Kelpie, Australian Kelpie. And they're one-third Catahoula Leopard, or Catahoula Cur, or Catahoula Hound. Uh, a lot of people have different names for them. Yellow Black Mouth Cur. Uh, they originated down in the Catahoula province of Louisiana. I've been there. I've saw the original type dog. And as you travel, travel across the United States, the dogs change. And so uh, Mick is a hanging tree stock dog. He was a failure at the ranch. Uh, he wouldn't chase cows. So he would chase a ball and a stick and fetch. So I wound up, they gave him to me. Because he is a pet. He's a true pet. He's a good traveling dog. He's house broke. Uh, loves to get in a truck. You can put him in the back truck and go anywhere. But you'll see him running up uh, to the barn with me. I'll throw his toy a couple of times for you. So that's it. Like I said, I'm the cowboy saddle train. I like to stay on the road. I like to go and do things. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So uh, hold on, and we'll go right along, and pretty soon, maybe I'll learn to do this better. I don't know. What that, What do you think of my smile? I'm not real good at smiling, and I forget to keep my eyes open. I'm used to squinting from the sun. Uh, but a lot of time outside, I've got a uh, wrinkled up face. Looks like a West Virginia road map from being out in the sun all the time. And I've got grinning wrinkles where I grin. I don't really smile to grin. Uh, but it's a southern thing. We won't get into the southern part right now, but I am a hillbilly. I grew up in the Appalachian Mountains up in Virginia, where Tennessee, North Carolina, West Virginia, and Virginia all come together. And maybe we'll go up and visit there next summer. But right now, I'm going to put you on hold and uh, get ready and get outside, all right? So here we go. There's the travel trailer that I'll be traveling in. I don't know how a one-legged man is going to walk very well with uh, holding a camera and not twitching all over the place. Let's start all over, okay? Okay, so there's what the one-legged cowboy or the saddle tramp travels in. We've got a leak on the roof. So as you can see, we're, uh, we're working on that. It's a 20-foot-long travel trailer. And right beside of it, right here... That's our um, toy. We call it the toy. That's her name. It's a girl. And uh, it's a uh, Geo Tracker, four-wheel drive, short wheelbase, very narrow, fantastic item to use on the trail. This is our F-150 pickup. It's a tough pickup. It's had a lot of work done to it at the factory when they originally built it to turn this into a uh, much tougher version. It's about like a F-250. It's a three-quarter ton. 
And just so you'll know, right there went Mick. Yes, he's going to go over and water my wheel. What are you doing, Mick? Okay. And that's my old dually pickup. It runs off of diesel. I converted it to run off of vegetable oil I get behind restaurants. But that's another story, another place and time. Maybe we'll mention that. Maybe we'll get it running again. It's got a bad starter. All right, and there's the barn, the horse barn, the paddocks. There's a slide up, slide in camper up there, not slide up, slide in camper up there. And uh, it's got my big white gooseneck horse trailer. It's got a 20 foot box in it behind that. And in front of that's the blue pickup topper, uh, camper top. Uh, just a hollow fiberglass shell with a lockable door in the back. Goes on the back of the truck and we're tra traveling. And then right there, and we'll get a better look at it as we go up through there is my uh, newer living quarter horse trailer. We're in the process of remodeling it. Wow, watch that stuff go. I don't know how y'all gonna watch this. All right, but we're getting closer. We'll see what it looks like. I've never done this. This is a little creek runs behind the house there and that's, that is the house. And there's my little garden. The squirrels won the battle. They ate the garden. And there's Mick. Mick's doing what Mick does best, fetching sticks. Mick, bring your stick here. Come on. Let's go. All right. So here you go, folks. This is what Mick the stock dog does. All right, bring it here. Okay. Wait a minute now. Over there, Mick. Get it. Went over there. There he goes. He's hunting for it better than a bird dog. That's a blind retrieve. He's hunting. He's hunting. He's got it. Here he comes. Come here, sit. There you go. Faithful dog. Hey, yes. Let's throw it again. There we go. Boy, I bet you some wild camera movement when I'm throwing that and all. Sit. All right, give it here. Now, we're going to take this over here, and we're going to put it up for safekeeping for him. Right there it is on top of the fence post, because otherwise he'll worry us. That's the neighbor's horse barn over there. That's the neighbor's horses. Okay, that's a little too fast to pan around there, isn't it? We're getting closer up here now. I'll have to cut a lot of this out because I don't think y'all going to be able to stand to watch that jerky mess there. Okay. All right, now if you look right there, there's more of mixed sticks. At the ranch out in Arizona, the Epis Ranch, where he was born and raised, they throw his sticks and balls and everything on top of the saddle house because people get sick and tired of him bringing them around. So the roof up there is covered with this. Get a little better picture. I'm going to try to zoom it in a little bit. There's a little better picture of the horse trailer. There's my horse barn. It's got a rock shop in it now where I do that during jewelry work. There's no horses here. There's one out in Arizona. Slide-in camper, pickup topper, my older uh, gooseneck horse trailer. I'm going to turn you off for a minute now. Just a quick shot there. That's Mick's uh, fuzzy frisbee that he likes to fetch. And there's the camper a little bit better. Horse trailer's a little better. There's the horse barn. And here's the trailer with the living quarters. Okay. And there you go, folks. Mick is way down there at the end of the horse paddock. He's plotting how to get that stick off that post. Eventually he'll give up and go to the woods and get another one. It's a river birch tree I planted a few years ago for shade for the horses. And then over here is the woods. Back past that. Horse water and troughs. Uh, not troughs, but barrels. I, I forgot to mention that I am the world's greatest one-legged cowboy. Uh, so I'm a cowboy saddle tramp that's missing a leg. And it's very difficult to walk and take pictures like that see how that is i just can't seem to walk smoothly 
like a drunk, okay? But I'm not a drunk. That's a mistake right there. That's that's a holly tree. That is a mistake. That thing has taken over. It's just a few years old, and I think it's going to have to have like a, uh, a major buzz cut, uh, maybe a reduction in height to a couple of feet. It's going to mess up the door there. It's growing into the door to the barn. All right, here we go with the rock shop. That's the old-fashioned. All of my equipment's old, but very functional. That's the old-style arbors that we used to grind the gemstone down. Um, this is a sink, of course, to wash things out with. It's a little messy right now. That's a saw, also messy. But that is a saw under there that you saw the rock into slabs. And right here are the two lottos that are running right now. We'll see in a minute if we can get a picture of the movement inside of them. And when I said you would saw rocks into slabs, you would take like a piece of this, which is a, a rhyolite, which we got a very pretty pattern in it, and you'd saw it into slabs. I'm not wanting to focus. There it goes. Saw that into slabs. Once you've got it into slabs, like this, okay, then you can take and uh, won't focus. There it goes. That that's Arizona petrified wood from the Arizona petrified forest, and that's a slab. See there. And from that, you can cut out a cabochon, which this is a piece of Peruvian opal, okay, pink opal, and you would cut out a shape like that, and as you can tell from my, my finger, it's a little over, it's about an inch, a little bit more than an inch long, it's a good size for, it. too big for a ring, make a nice necklace or a bracelet. Alright, putting it on hold again. So here we go now. I don't know whether y'all can tell that they're moving a whole lot faster as they go through there. But if you watch them, they picked up pretty good speed. And this one over here, some has always been slower, but I've watered it down a little bit, and it's going right along. Okay, so I'm going to shut it completely off now.